um, two separate things. So we, we want to separate those things. Oh my gosh, I just said things like 10 times. My name is Willie Eckloff, and I'm going to be taking you through a quick tutorial for the Oxygen 49. Here we are with an M Audio Oxygen 49, and sometimes these parameters get a little bit mixed up inside the actual MIDI controller. So it will actually apply two separate knobs to the same thing. Did I say that right? So you see I'm moving one knob and it's moving two parameters. So like C13 and C16 are both controlling um, two separate things. So we, we want to separate those things. Oh my gosh, I just said things like 10 times. Okay. Edit, select, and then you wiggle whatever thing you're doing. In that case, it's that. C13. And then right here, it's the control assign key. You can see it on the top there and uh, right there. And you push it, and it will start blinking like that. So 013, it's blinking, and you just want to change it to something else. For this, I'm doing 56. So those two keys, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, enter. Um, 56. And so I just want to change it to 56. Something other than 1, 3, because apparently the other knob, oh yeah, and then you want to hit enter. See? Like that. And then, for fear that you didn't see the actual screen, I did it like again so you could see what happens to what should happen to the screen when you push enter. So I'm just going through this again. And so 56 blinking, yada yada. I go and show you enter, yeah yeah yeah. And then I go over here and it goes like that. So now you've reprogrammed your C13 knob to actually be C56 or whatever, whatever, 056. And then you go back into Ableton, you see nothing's happening. Nothing, nothing. But it's because 56 has to be reprogrammed in the MIDI mapping. So you open up MIDI mapping, go into your knob. I, I was so, I, I was confused. It wasn't that one right there. <laughs> it wasn't that reverb knob. It was the filter on the lead channel that I wanted to change. So I go down, frequency, and I click it, and you can see I wiggle that knob. Now it's 56, and it's not the C13, which is the solve to that problem. So no, nobody knows why it happens, but for some reason, C13 and C16 were on the same channel, the the MIDI controller was reading it as the same thing. So you just have to go in and change it to anything else. I, honestly, anything else you want to change it to. And then I think this is that was just me like being excited. Yes. So that is how you do it. Thank you for watching. Hello and goodbye. Next time I want to do a actual song. Um, I was doing a song and then that whole thing came up so I decided to do a quick tutorial uh, to show you how to, to work the assignment on the oh, M-Audio Oxygen 49. Okay, bye!